Hi everyone, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see how to extract features from an audio file uh, using wave to wake We already seen how to extract features using uh, MFCC, which is a traditional uh, feature extraction method. But uh, recently, many new models uh, came uh, with uh, lots of data trained on. So instead of relying on the traditional methods, uh, we could also rely on the uh, neural network based uh, feature extraction. So that's what we are going to see in this uh, video. Let's dive into the tutorial. Let's import the necessary modules. So we are going to use uh, transformers. From there, there is a wave to vec uh, model. So that will be wave to vec to model. And uh, to use this model, we also need to pre-process the data. So they also have the module for that. So we have to back to processor and uh, we are going to use torch and uh, also to load the audio have to use Librosa. So let's import this. If you don't have this modules, just uh, directly uh, install it. If you are using uh, PyTorch, uh, if you have the NVIDIA GPU means you can install it with the uh, uh, CUDA. Now let's load the models. Load the pre-trained model. So let's define the model name. There are uh, multiple models like uh, multiple variations of the uh, model. So all the models are from Facebook wave to vec to I'm going to use a uh, base model which is the smaller version there is a large and extra large version also uh, they have but uh, for normal use cases we can just use the base version and 960 H so this is the model I'm going to use if you have some specific data set uh, which is uh, particularly trained on some music samples or any other uh, different kinds of uh, audio data means just uh, research uh, which uh, model is uh, suitable for that because each model is trained on a different type of data so this is like a generic uh, model and if you have a specific domain related data means just research which model to use and use that model so processor here we will just uh, use that uh, wave to wave to processor from pre-trained we will just use the model name and uh, model also we will initialize wave to vector model from pre-trained again the model name so instead of processor I will just call it as a pre-processor so it makes sense let's run this so currently it's just uh, loading the model to the variable if you don't have the model for the first time means it will download the model automatically in the meantime let's load the audio file I already have audio file in my repo so I'll just uh, have a audio file path equals it's in audio data so let's paste the audio file so this is the audio file I'm going to use uh, these are some of the audio data uh, which you can get from any other data set or you can also use your own voice file uh, and uh, I'm going to use wave format let's load it so audio comma sample rate equals librosa dot load and uh, audio file path let's run this okay just automatically changed let's just check the sample rate so this has a different uh, uh, sample rate if you want to specify a sample rate you can also specify it here so for now uh, most of the cases uh, we will just use uh, sample rate as like uh, 16,000 I'll just use it here we use that 
it will just give you the 16,000 sample rate. Now let's use this audio and uh, do the pre-processing step. Pre-process the audio file. I will have it as inputs. Pre-processor off. Pass the audio which we loaded and uh, sampling rate sampling rate which will be SR if you have a different sampling rate like we seen before you can also just uh, pass that it will work return tensors equals PT and uh, padding equals true let's run this this will do the pre-processing step after that extract features so with torch dot no grad if you are like predicting from the model means we have to use this and I'll call it as features equals model of inputs dot last hidden state usually uh, the model has some uh, classification head or uh, some last layer will be there so to get an embedding out of it uh, we will use the previous layer which is the last hidden state last hidden state so after we get the features uh, we have to convert it to a numpy array if you want to like extract the shape or you can also directly uh, see the shape uh, here now let's extract the features and uh, run this so I think this should not be there now you can see we got the tensors with all the features extracted if you want to like change it to a numpy array you can also do that let's just get the shape now you can see it has like uh, 86 cross 768 let's convert this to a numpy array convert features to numpy array so features I will say NP features just to retain the original variable just in case features dot squeeze dot cpu dot numpy and uh, np features dot shape now you can see 86 cross uh, 768 768 is the embedding uh, dimensions and uh, 86 will differ based on the length of the audio so if you have different lengths means this size will uh, change if you want to pad this and uh, make this uh, data uniform means uh, you can also use a function like uh, padding or uh, truncate if you want some uh, target size so let's say import numpy as np def pad or truncate features comma target size let's say you just want to uh, change this to a uniform format uh, I just want like 100 cross uh, 768 if you want to do that means uh, you just have to use this uh, function let's get the current size current size equals features dot yeah features dot shape of 0 so this will get this number and if current size greater than or equal to target size then we have to truncate it truncate the features so written features of 
target size and so this is on the first dimension we will just uh, keep it until the target size and uh, we will just uh, leave the rest which is the 768 and if you are using a bigger model means that dimension also will change else pad the features with 0 here features is nothing but uh, embedding embedding vectors so let's pad it pad with equals target size minus current size we are just calculating the difference like how much we need to do the padding padding equals np dot zeros of pad width and uh, features dot shape of one which is this uh, dimension and we will just combine both the original and this padding uh, dimensions written np dot vertical stack of features comma padding okay let's run this now I will say padded feature or features equals pad or tongue kit of let's pass this np features I will say target size will be 100 and padded padded features dot shape tuple is not callable sorry now you can see we got 100 and 768 let's say you just want until 50 means just change this uh, number and you will just get the 50 so it will truncate the features if you have uh, like bigger uh, value means it will just uh, pad the features with uh, zero so that's it guys this is how you can extract the features using a neural network from a pre-trained uh, model the pre-trained model is uh, this wave to vec and uh, you can directly use this model on uh, any of the classification or uh, uh, downstream task and uh, this will also give some better uh, improvement compared to the MFCC uh, features you can test both of them and uh, let me know in the comments uh, which works well on uh, which application and uh, that's pretty much it if you have any queries uh, regarding this video please leave a comment below i will definitely answer them and thanks for watching this video